So the main thing to talk about here is this um, update courtesy of Christopher Faust, a very influential DJ and producer who had gone through an incident in 2022 where they were accused of some sort of sexual assault i don't have a link to the original article anywhere here to kind of check it myself so christopher faust um aka in health the in health the nacht in in health the nacht um has come out with a statement here to clear up some allegations that were put against him in 2022 so he says here my statement on may 22nd 2022 i performed at an event in brett in amsterdam Shortly after the event, I was wrongly accused of being involved in an incident of sexual assault that allegedly took place at the venue. Today, I would like to make a public statement that after many months of investigation, hearings and legal processes, I have been fully acquitted of the accusations against me by the Court of Amsterdam. The Amsterdam authorities, um, for fire investigation and the court's examination of the evidence and the experiences of the victim shared online have led to the conclusion, sorry, the conclusive determination that I could not have been involved in the alleged incident. It is important for me to mention um, that the police officers who handled the case and the judges were all women. Um, I want to emphasize that this statement, um, I have no intention of discrediting or undermining the experiences of victims of sexual assault. I am fully aware of the violence against women and the abuse of power that takes place in music scenes and beyond. I do not want this case to become fuel for victim blaming, disregard of the victim's voices or misogynistic narratives of any kind. It was crucial for me to take time to process the situation and to approach it with empathy and understanding. During this period, I refrained from public appearances, allowing the process to unfold with the utmost attention, respect it deserves. Um, throughout the year, I was subjugated to harassment, violence online, what, which was greatly affected my mental health. I kindly request respect of my privacy as I continue to process this experience. Now that my name has been fully cleared, I eagerly look forward to resuming my passion for music and to share that again with you. I sincerely hope that you in everyone sorry, I sincerely hope that everyone involved in this distressing incident will find the peace and the healing um signed off Christoph. Obviously turn off the comments as people always do, which is a bit strange, but fair play. So Taking it on face value, if he has been accused of assault, I don't really know what the original accusations were. It's an interesting thing to see because I feel like this is probably the best approach I've seen of somebody dealing with a situation that I've seen so far. Because one of the things that's always kind of upset me when these sort of things happen is that they usually happen to people or usually people that get accused are the ones who kind of run parties, do festivals or like have a label or something, right? Where by the default of them being accused of what they've been accused of it negatively impacts people who had nothing to do with it the artists people that are going to perform at your shows people that work there it kind of essentially puts their job at risk because of something you've been accused of whether you did it or not and i always felt like some of these people were very selfish in that they would rather the whole boat sunk down with them as opposed to saying hey i understand this situation is serious although i vehemently deny those accusations i'm going to step aside let my team kind of take over what's happening here so that you know it's not me doing it and take time to kind of go through necessary legal proceedings, whatever time needs to be done to get done, da, 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 and then kind of come back when, when all is good. But take the time away to kind of give the people that I'm kind of, you know, representing or leading opportunity to kind of continue on with their jobs. People don't obviously do that. It happened a lot with that crossbreed party. Um, the guy over there obviously got accused of being a little bit of a menace behind the scenes. And essentially the whole thing had of kind of died. Um, it happened, of course, with Lobster Ferryman. Um, with that guy, um, Jimmy Asqueef, he got accused of some madness and the whole thing kind of died. And obviously that negative impacted everybody that was part of it. And of course, the final kind of con example will be Possession, right? Possession a Festival over there in Paris, they had the same sort of thing where a couple of the founders got accused of some harassment shit and that essentially led to that whole movement going down. But then there's other, you know, rumors out there that it could do to them having loads of unpaid uh, bills and stuff and them being sued who knows either way i would much rather like the people that have been accused to kind of step to one side let people do their job so that you know not everyone's job is kind of at risk but then uh, aside from that i feel like this was really done very well because i hadn't known about the allegations against christopher faust until i saw the apology because i do remember him changing his name that's what I remember happening. That being a big deal. You remember putting out a flipping post out there and he kind of already kind of, you know, addressed why he's changing his name to kind of get away from the negative association that was associated with his previous name because that's what the allegations were. I thought that was weird, but I didn't really look too deep into it. But then I also remember 
having been out in Berlin a few times, if you've ever been out there, you've probably seen Christopher Faust out and about. He's always out. Whenever I've been there, by hook and crook, I've been out there random times. I feel like I've always bumped into him on the dance floor. Always, you know, having a good time out with friends, you know, whatever, cheerful. I've seen him out in Bergheim a few times. So clearly he hasn't been hiding, right? So that's, you know, somewhat comforting in that regard. It has affected him completely where he's a complete recluse. But he's clearly been stepping away from being like a DJ and being all up in there and kind of pushing in people's faces with delegations around him, which I feel like is a very sensible thing to do. Because even though you know you're not guilty, you still have to kind of move in a way where you're kind of being respectful of the kind of, you know, the seriousness of the allegations. And you're also being respectful of people who may see your actions, if you don't really give a fuck, as some sort of weird kind of microaggression thing, which I think is a little bit weird, a little bit, you know, pussified in that regard. But I understand if you've gone through that issue why you can kind of feel like if somebody just kind of is gallivanting around town, acting like nothing's happening, how they're kind of spitting in your face. So I felt like he dealt with it in the right way. There are going to be some people who aren't going to be happy, who are still going to think he maybe didn't get exonerated Maybe they didn't find enough evidence to convict him, so he shouldn't be deserving of a career. But I feel like in some cases, if you do decide to go down the legal route with these sort of things, and the person is found innocent in some regard, they just have to be able to get on with their lives. If certain platforms or certain you know clubs don't want to associate themselves with him, fair, it's their prerogative. I'm not a fan of the widespread blackballing of people, picking and choosing what kind of stance to have on certain people and what sort of thing to take seriously and what sort of thing not to take seriously. I don't like that. You have to kind of be a blanket rule across the board and there's a lot of, you know, abusers and stuff in the scene who kind of get away with it and have thriving careers. So if you kind of want to cancel, you have to cancel a lot of people out there. So in that respect, maybe if it's a, you know, platform specific people cancelling him, fair enough. But the fact that he's gone through the process and um, they've come to the conclusion that he wasn't involved and now, you know, he's being somewhat found not guilty. I think he should be allowed to kind of continue his, own, his career in that regard. Because I feel like if that happens, then most likely if somebody is guilty of their crimes, they should exhaust all options to make sure that person's convicted. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see people being wrongfully convicted for something they didn't do. But then I also want to see that people that are wrongly committed, uh, committed, sorry, or accused, have to be able to get their career back. But then that also puts the onus on making sure you catch the real predators and the real abusers out there. That's what obviously should be happening, in my personal opinion. So um, congrats, I guess, in some respects, um, to Christopher Faust. Hopefully he's able to continue his career from now on and he can kind of take it from there going forward. But that is some good news for him in that regard and we'll see how that kind of evolves and develops. Maybe we might hear from the other side of the person who accused who might come out and clarify some things. I'm not really too sure. But so far, so good. Um, hopefully that is okay for them in that regard.